Oh, is it still going? <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, no. Ah. Ah. Ah, freestyle. Serious face. Oh. Huh. 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 Today, we're gonna to show you guys how to use smoke bombs to enhance your photography. We are out here at one of the parks in Ashland, and we've got Libby, and we're doing a little bit of a patriotic Americana theme today, and we've got some red, white, and blue. And so, what I'm gonna do is just walk you guys through my process, break it down for you, and then hopefully show you some epic photos at the end, or this will all fail. We'll see, you can decide. But first and foremost, you wanna pick the right kind of smoke bombs. Don't go to Walmart and buy some dinky smoke bombs that maybe you just light with a little lighter and last like 10 seconds or, and are the most unthrilling things ever. Invest in some quality smoke bombs like these Enola Gays. You can get these at some camera stores. You can buy it from paintball stores. We're big fans of Pixel Connection, um, actually here in Ohio, but they will ship these. These smoke bombs right here will last about 60 to 90 seconds. It all depends on the wind and the environment you're in, but 60 to 90 seconds, and that's a good amount of time, but you'll see very fast that it goes by quickly, and so you gotta move. So first and foremost, quality smoke bomb. Secondly, you want to kind of make a plan with your model or your client and plan out the poses you're gonna do before igniting one of these smoke bombs because again, it's a little hectic and fast and so you wanna just, if, if you set yourself with a plan, everything's gonna go by a lot smoother. So let's actually start with that. So Livy, we've got our flag. We're gonna use our blue smoke bomb to get us started here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna toss the smoke bomb over here. So hopefully if this all works out, the smoke will just move across behind her. Again, things change and you gotta modify sometimes. But so Livy, I'm gonna have you actually scooch this way just a tad. And let's do this. I'm gonna have you angle towards my light this way. And then let's pop, we're gonna pop the left leg out. And then the flag, I want you to slide your hand up the, the flagpole just a little bit. Yeah, perfect. And then let's do this. I'm gonna have you hand right on the hip. And then just shoulders back, boom. And so I'm gonna give her just a starting pose. This will be our starting pose, and that'll be one of them. But now I need to walk through the rest. So she knows this, lock it in, kind of what your starting pose is. And then as we move through the smoke bomb, we can change to whatever planned poses we have. So Libby, first pose. Now second pose, I'm thinking we turn it out so you're straight on with me. We're gonna do a spread stance for this next one and then just we'll put weight on this hip. And we might even just let this hand come down and chill on the side there. Yeah, kind of right in there and then shoulders. Yeah, there you go. All about the shoulders. If you don't move the shoulders back, you got slouchy poses. We don't want that. Perfect, that's our second pose. So you remember our first one? Let's go back to our first one real quick. Boom, boom, there it is. Always going through to kind of remember and, and refresh the brain on what our poses are is gonna help. So right there, boom. And then um, now move to second pose. Weight on the hip, hand here, shoulders back. Yeah, actually I'm gonna change this one. Let's do hand pocket. Small change, hand in pocket, good. Second pose. We'll probably spend 30 seconds on those two. And I'm gonna have Livy actually do um, smiles and serious face with both. So we get some variety there. And then let's do this. Um, with the flag, let's maybe bring it, I wanna bring it around front. And I just wanna like, we'll just hold it, hold it kind of close, um, not covering you too much, but kind of like right in here. And we might even rotate just a tad too. And you can slide this hand up the flagpole just a tad. So boom, and I'll tell you what, let's actually do this. I'm gonna bring this foot over and we're gonna pop your left leg. Yeah, right there, boom. So that'll be our third pose. So we're on to three now. That should be good. We'll work with those three. And then maybe I'll let Livy freestyle. I'm just kidding, we won't do that to her. So that'll be our three. So let's start with our first one. Go back to your first pose, perfect. Okay, and then we're popping this foot here. And so we've got our poses figured out, but as far as lighting, we are using lighting here in addition to the ambient light that's going on, but we would definitely wanna set our settings first before we get shooting so that again, once we bring this in, we're not dealing with all these different lighting scenarios and we're worrying about kind of what's going on. We wanna set our exposure first, get the shot, before lighting the smoke bomb. So let's do that now. So I've got my settings in. Regardless if you're using ambient light or you're using strobe, like so today we're actually using Explore 600 from Flashpoint and I'm just dialing in my settings to get them where I want them. Take a few test shots 
and then get going with the smoke bomb. So we're looking pretty good where we're at here. Yeah, looks awesome. And so now we're ready for the, the main event, the smoke bomb. So I'm, I can feel the wind right now and I can kind of feel it moving this direction. And so just knowing that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna place the smoke bomb right in here. So kind of right next to Livy, um, so where it hopefully will move across this way. So I'm actually gonna kind of angle it even like right here, I think. So that's gonna be the plan that hopefully will work. Sometimes it doesn't always work how you plan. And so you gotta flex. You maybe have to go and grab it and move it a little bit. Um, these burn warm, but not too crazy where you can't handle it, especially at the bottom. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's get to it. All right, we ready for this? Okay. Big thing with these, it tells you instructions. You don't pull, you don't pull the tab straight out like you would think. You actually pull it sideways. So um, there's a little instruction panel that explains all that. But anyway, there we go. So the smoke right now is just moving away that direction. So I'm going to angle. Bring some in here. So it's moving straight back. So I'm noticing that. I'm just going to put this smoke bomb right behind Livy. This will stain close, so you gotta be careful where you have it. But we're gonna put it right there. We have all this cool blue smoke right behind her. Like I said, we're gonna go through a few of those first poses, that first pose there. Awesome. Let's move to second pose. So straight on with me. Yep, yep, you got it, hand in pocket. Awesome, we're gonna do looking off to the side, same pose looking off. Lock your eyes on something. There it is. A few smiles back at me. Fake left. Go. Nice, nice. Awesome. Smoke's moving, so I'm gonna move my camera a little bit. Shift it over. All right, third pose. Bring the flag around front. And then spread stance. Or no, I'm sorry. Feet together. And then left leg pop. There you go. There it is, there it is. Yep, some serious face, good. Chin up just a little bit, some smiles. Let's do a few looking off, serious face. There it is, there it is, good. Right there. So right there you can see just kind of how fast the smoke will move. It is a lot of smoke, but again, if you're in a windy area, it'll just suck it right out. So first off, planning the poses, super important. Get your shot how you want it, the composition, the settings for the lighting. Get everything set, do a few practice shots, practice with your client or your model, and then make a plan in that sense and finally move into it and get going. And always be ready to kind of make adjustments like you just saw at the beginning there. I set it there and the smoke did not move behind Livy, so I had to grab it and move it and shift it and you may just have to pivot and flex. So be ready for that. Not everything is gonna work perfect to plan. Uh, so what we're gonna do is a few more shots and get some cool stuff and show you guys right here on this video. Thanks so much for tuning in and I can't wait to hear what you guys create with smoke bombs.